we're going to look at adding and configuring a signature to our email in the Apple Mail app. To start, make sure that you have at least one account configured in the Apple Mail client and that you have the application open. From here, you can choose Mail, Preferences from the menu or use the Universal App Preferences shortcut of Command Comma. Select the Signature tab from the resulting window and you'll be presented with the Signature Configuration pane. It's simply split into three columns with your email accounts listed in the left-hand column, the signatures that are created in the middle column, and the edit options for the selected signature in the right-hand column. At any time, you can adjust the width of the columns by clicking on the center point in the column divide and moving it left or right. You may find this useful when it comes to editing your signature, as it will give you more room to see how it will display. If you want to create a signature for use with multiple email accounts, then select the All Accounts option followed by the plus button. If, however, you wish to create a signature for a specific address, select it from the list and click the plus button. Regardless of the method you use, the signature will be added to the All Signatures location. It's worth noting that you can create a signature in the All Signatures section, but unless you assign it to an email account, it won't be available for use. To assign a signature to an email account, drag it from the list in all signatures to the email account you wish to assign it to, and let go. Underneath each email account is a note telling you how many signatures are assigned to it. This should now change to reflect the assigned signature that we just added. If you wish to remove a signature, select it in the list and hit the minus button. If the signature was applied to a single email account, Removing it under its entry will remove it from that email address, but not from all signatures. If you wish to remove it from all assigned accounts, then select it under all signatures and hit the minus. Please be aware that the moment you delete a signature, it is irretrievable and does not go to a trash or recently deleted folder. The only way to restore a deleted signature would be through the use of a time machine backup and even then it is a difficult procedure to perform. Please be absolutely sure that you have the correct signature selected before deleting. I would recommend changing the name of your signature to something more recognisable and relevant to its contents, so as to make identifying it easier. To do this, double click on the signature name and type the new name you wish to use. Simply click away or hit enter when done. You can also use the shift enter shortcut if you find this easier. Now that we have created our signature, we can configure it to say exactly what we wish it to. Select the signature to edit and adjust the details in the right hand column. If you consistently use the same phrase to sign off your emails, then you can save time by adding it to the top of your signature. To format it in the desired style, use the controls available in the edit menu, as well as the font palette available from the format menu. Often, you might want to add your email address or some text prompting someone to reply to you. You can create links by using the Edit, Add Link menu option. If you would like the receiver to create a new email with a pre-populated address field, then you can create your link in the form Mail To, followed by the address you wish to have pre-populated. Next, we can add an image to the signature, which we can simply do by dragging and dropping it from its location in the finder. We can choose for the image to display as either an image or as an icon by selecting the View as Icon option under the contextual menu, accessed with a right click or two finger click on a trackpad. It's worth being aware, however, that Mail will display the image full size once the signature is in use even though it may initially display it to fit in the signature edit column. Therefore, the image you place here should have an appropriate width. Our recommendation is something in the 100 to 300 pixels range. Once you have created and assigned the signatures for your email accounts, you can configure them further to auto add them to the bottom of new emails. 
To do so, select the address that you wish to configure the auto add for and click on the Choose Signature drop down. From here, choose the signature that you would like the newly composed email to use. There are actually a few other options here one to choose a signature at random, and one to work sequentially through the list of assigned signatures. For example, if you wanted to alternate between two signatures every time you create a new email, then you would assign two signatures to the account and choose the sequential option. If, however, you have none selected here, then when you compose a new email, you can use the signature drop down at the top right of the Compose Email window to select the signature you wish to use. This becomes available on any email account that has a signature assigned to it. So if you decided to change the signature partway through composing, you can, even if it's auto added initially. And that's really all there is to it. A quick and easy way to save you the time of creating a signature afresh every time that you compose an email. You may, however, feel limited by the level of control afforded you within the system provided by Apple Mail and desire the ability, for example, to add an image with a link or alt text for screen readers. This doesn't need to be an issue, however. As long as you know a little HTML, you can actually create a full HTML-based signature. There are some caveats, namely the supported set of tags, so it's best to create your signature in a table-based structure. To start, we need to register a signature with the system. To do this, go to the Signature section of Mail Preferences like we have done before. Next, create a new signature. You can create this anywhere, but our recommendation would be the All Signatures section. Give it a descriptive name as before. Assign it to the accounts you wish to use at this stage, otherwise it won't be visible in the next step. When done, quit Mail. Next, we need to navigate to a folder buried deep inside the user library. The easiest way to do this is in the Finder using the Go to Folder option under the Go menu. The shortcut is Command Shift G. When typing entries into the Go folder window, you can use the Tab key to autocomplete items in the list after typing the first few letters. We will use this method now. In the resulting window, type tilde slash, which is the shortcut for your home folder. Next, start typing lib and hit tab to fill in library. Next, type mai and hit tab. Then, type v followed by tab. Each successive version of mail creates a new v folder here, so if you have more than one listed, choose the one with the highest number appended to its name. Next, type MAI and tab to fill in mail data. Lastly, type SIG, tab, and the full file path will have been chosen. Hit enter to go to that folder. The resulting folder shows several of the working files that the signature system uses. The files with the extension .mail signature are the signature files. The easiest way to identify the one that we require is to right click in the column and choose Show View Options. And then from the Sort By drop down, select Date Created. The newest signature file should now be listed at the top. Double click it to open in TextEdit or another editor of your choice. There is a lot of text in the signature, but the part we wish to replace is everything from the body tag down. This is where we want to place our own HTML, complete with its own body tag. Again, we would recommend developing your signature in a different file, where you can test the way it looks in a web browser. And once you are happy with how it displays, copy and paste the code into the signature file when you are ready to deploy it. This method also makes it easier to action any revisions that you may want to in the future, without affecting the functioning of your current signature. When you have pasted your content into the file, remember to hit save and then close the file. If you wish, you can use Command and I to open the Get Info window of the signature and set it to be locked. Now relaunch Mail and navigate to the Signature Preference pane. Here we should see our signature reflecting the newly created HTML code and we can continue to configure it for use as before. 
Mail signatures help us to convey meaningful information in a consistent and automated way, saving us time and effort when composing an email. They are easy to set up and use, can sync across iCloud, and help to give a more professional finish to your correspondence. Thank you.